Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see some multiple choice questions on interatomic forces and bonding in solids. Let's start. Question number one. The origin of the Van der Waals interaction of molecules in a crystal is is because of magnetic, because of ionic or fluctuating dipolar or nuclear. We know that already the Van der Waal interaction is always through a dipole interaction. So the answer is a, a fluctuating dipolar. The second question is which of the following bonds has a more directional? This is a very straightforward question. We know that the covalent bond always forms only one particular direction where the molecule, the, the, the orbitals are overlapping, there only we will have a bonding. Other places we will not have a bonding. And when, when you compare to the when you come to ionic bonding, the ionic bonding is not at all directional. Though it is where you have, a, for example, if you take a sodium plus and chlorine minus, though it's a positive charge, but this positive charge can attract chlorine or a negative charge any direction. Force is inversely proportional to R square and this force is equal in all the directions. So it is not at all a direction. It can attract any other direction. So this is not at all a directional. Dipolar is also, fluctuating dipolar is also not a directional and metallic is not at all a direction. In the metallic, in the metal, we have a large number of electrons. This large number of electrons will, will be shared to all the ions in the metal. So the bonding is uh, similar to covalent bonding, but the electrons are delocalized completely. They won't be fixed between two atoms. They will be delocalized throughout the metal. So this is also a non-directional. So only the directional is the covalent bond. The third question is at equilibrium spacing, at equilibrium spacing of diatomic molecule, molecule, the resultant force is this is related to interatomic forces. We know that at the when when the two atoms are at far distance, there won't be any interaction. This is the first atom, this is the second atom. When the second atom is approaching to the first atom, Initially, we have a force of attraction. But when this atom is con coming to closer to some distance, if you remember, this is the, the diagram. So at equilibrium distance, R is equal to R naught. The force of attraction and force of repulsion exactly balances. And at this distance, the two atoms will have a bond formation. You can see here at equilibrium spacing of the diatomic molecule, the resultant force is at the equilibrium distance, the force of attraction and force of repulsion is exactly balanced. That means the resultant force is zero. And if you bring little closer to this one, there will be a repulsive force will come. So at, at exactly equilibrium position, the resultant force is zero. And the same question above question, at equilibrium spacing of the diatomic molecule, the resultant potential energy is, when the force is zero, the potential energy is constant. The constant is a minimum. You can see this is the, this is the interatomic distances versus the potential energy. Now you can see at equilibrium distance, there is a minimum potential energy. This is the minimum potential energy. This minimum potential energy is called the binding energy of the crystal or cohesive energy of the crystal. So the potential energy is minimum, minimum answer is minimum. Which of the following element elements is a covalently bonded crystal? You can see here aluminum. Aluminum is a metal. So it is not a covalent bond. Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is an ionic bond because sodium plus and chlorine minus will be forming. Germanium. Germanium forms, germanium forms a covalent bond because, because of the valence electrons they share between the valence electrons of the germanium to another germanium which forms a covalent bond and if you see the lead lead is also a heavy metal so this is this, this doesn't form any covalent bond so the answer is germanium and the sixth question is what is the nature of bonding in ch4 in the ch4 this is a covalent bond this is not an ionic bond metallic bond dispersion bond between hydrogen and carbon, between hydrogen and oxygen, they are all covalent bonds. In NaCl, the sodium ions are positively charged 
and chlorine ions are negatively charged. In spite of the Coulombing attraction between them, why do the two ions not collapse? The question is, there is a two, there are sodium plus ions and the chlorine minus ions are there. There is a plus charge and minus charge, they both are attracting each other. But why they are only at certain bond distance, they are stable. Why they are not collapsing, they are not coming and attaching each other. This is because at equilibrium distance, this is the equilibrium distance. This is the equilibrium distance R is equal to R naught. The force of attraction and force of repulsion exactly balances. So we will have a NaCl crystal, we will have a bonding. But if you further try to move the atom closer to the another atom, then there will be a force of repulsion will be appearing between the two atoms. So because of a short repulsive forces, so Because of short repulsive forces, the two ions will not go further in contact. They will not collapse. The next question is, I will erase this. Short repulsive forces plays a role here. Next question is, the bonding between the atoms in a molecule of HCl is HCl between hydrogen and chlorine, between hydrogen and oxygen, all these are covalent bond. This is, not, this is a covalent bond, not a van der Waal bond, not a metallic bond, not a ionic bond. These are the sum of the questions on the bonding in solids and interatomic forces. You can also find some more questions from the test books and the internet and practice yourself to understand the concepts of these topics. Thank you.